I'm standing in front of an incredible London plane tree. And the first time that we saw this, we just couldn't believe our eyes because it has this amazingly heartwarming welcome with its arms outstretched in this concave vest and it's like it's welcoming you into its embrace. This is just a glorious tree. And then you notice it has all these mammoth arms that are the size of a, a trunk of a normal tree, but they're just side branches. And if you look up, you will see this colossal central leader that's going way up and reaching into the heavens. This is absolutely a marvelous tree of a tremendous architectural design that I thought was unique. So let's walk around this tree and look at some of the other sides. This is the south side. So coming around thinking, oh, I don't know, it's probably going to be really different. And then go, oh my gosh, it's doing the same thing again. Now I'm on the north uh, west side of the tree. And you can see it has the same wonderful welcoming, again, with outstretched arms. And once again, not as deep a concave, but nonetheless, still a concave area with its breast once again saying, I'm welcoming you. Welcome to Hainer Park. Welcome, come visit me on this beautiful London plane tree. Now, if I go around all the way to what is almost to north, and if this was a compass rose, it would indeed be uh, true north. And if you went right through this tree to the opposite side where I was standing, that would be 10 feet across, just to give you an idea of this massiveness. Oh, and I forgot to mention that on the south side, with the biggest embrace of the, all of the sides of the tree, that was 11 feet across. So it just gives you an idea of the majesty of this tree. Now, I also want you to take a moment to look up into the canopy. Because what's an, a, extraordinary about this tree is not just its stature and its girth, but the fact that it has a huge canopy. And you can see as you go around and look at it, that it's pretty much equal all the way around, providing a wonderful shade tree in the heat of summer. This is just a <clears throat> marvelously beautiful specimen of a London plane tree. So let's go around and look at this last side. Oh, and once again, can you believe it? This is the third side of the tree. Again, it's amazing. It's got two major arms going up. It's got the con concave breast. It's got the central leader going behind it. It's once again saying, hello, hello, welcome, to, welcome. I want to hold you in my embrace. This is just an inspiring tree. And we think probably because of its girth and its height and its canopy, if you put all those features together, we believe that this could be the largest London plane tree in the world. And so we're asking if anybody knows of a tree that's bigger or more glorious than this, that they should let us know. But we do know there are trees that are taller, but they don't have this grandeur. They do not have this kind of a canopy. This is one extraordinary tree.